Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Drew Droids. So in this channel, we discuss about robotics in general, drones and also simulation. This is part 2 of the track chain simulation using multibody dynamics in Adam's view. So in the last video, we had set up the model so that we could use a python script to create contacts and I had mentioned that this is a crucial step because the number of contacts that we are dealing is quite high. So in today's video we will complete the entire simulation we will import python scripts to create the contacts and I would suggest you watch part 1 of this series to have a better understanding of the simulation that we are working on. Uh, the link is in the description. So we start with uh, adding some components to the assembly. So we have the model here. I have removed all the contacts. We will be creating them using the Python script. So I will just create a link. That is a solid body available within Adams. Uh, this is basically the structure which will be connecting the sprocket, the idlers and the smaller rollers overall. So we need to add revolute joint between this link and the sprocket uh, revolute joint. Similarly we will do that for the idler and the link as well. So this way we have created revolute joints, rotational joints between the main structure and the sprocket and idler. Let's simulate and check it out. So right now everything is falling under gravity, there are no contacts. So everything just falls. Okay, I also have to add this uh, revolute joint between the smaller rollers and the structure or the link. So it is done, Let's save the model. Our model is near completion, so we will uh, import the Python script. This will create the contacts. Right now, I will be showing uh, two set of contacts. So finally, we will use the script to create all the contacts. But for now, I'll just show you in steps. So we will create contacts between the ground and the track links, and the track links and the sprocket. So for that, you can see there are no forces in the force collector I will go to import go to python script and then I will read the python script that is script 3 in this case so once I import you can see in the contacts section on the four section there are contacts which are created the red color on the main window the red color icons so you, here you can see I have created the contacts I am verifying that the contacts are correctly created So you can see the contacts, uh, first set of contacts are named as contact underscore a number which is the contact with the ground, the track link and ground and the second set is named as contact underscore spk, spk stands for sprocket. So these are the contacts between the track link and the sprocket. So I am verifying the contacts, you can see that uh, each contact window has a solid, I solid and a G solid. So G solid here is solid 4 which is corresponding to the sprocket, it is part 5. And the uh, other object is solid 40 which is one of these links which is highlighted right now. So this way contact between every of those links, 36 link and the sprocket has been created. Okay, I just simulated this and you can see the track chain are on the ground whereas the other structures just fell through. Uh, in the simulation, our idler fell through because we do not have the contact. So I will import the script again with the contacts 
for the idler as well. So now I'm showing you the different set of contacts. We have three set of contacts. So that is, we have the track and the ground, which I've already mentioned. So these are the set of contacts. That is contact SPK, this track and the sprocket. And the third set of contact, contact underscore IDK, is the track and the idler. So now we just created the three set of contacts. And let's simulate and see what the results are. I'm getting a warning, some error. Yeah. Okay, there's a join which needs to be deleted. I had kept those join in for the beginning when I was not having any contacts. This is the joint, a fixed joint. We deleted this. Now we are running it. And we have the simulation. Okay, so everything looks fine. So you can see that the contact between the sprocket and the track chain, the idler are all working well. So we need to add a few more things before we can complete the model. Uh, we need to add the track adjuster. Uh, so the track adjuster basically absorbs the shock and also allows for tensioning of the belt. So we are building that now. So this red cylinder will become the part that we call the track adjuster. In an actual machine it is basically a cylinder with a piston. And once we are done with this, we will have to create joints. So I am creating the joint now, a translational joint that is between the cylinder and the structure of the track and also another revolute joint between the roller or the idler and the adjuster. This way we, we will allow the rotational motion of the idler as well as the to and fro motion of the idler. Now we can go ahead with the simulation along with the current changes that we have added to the track frame. But before that I think we will have to add the contact because those have been deleted. Uh, so this is the final import, this is the final script, the python script which will create all the contacts. So there are 5 set of contacts, so I am showing you here, as you can see the first set of contacts is between the ground and the track, I have already explained that and we have the sprocket, the idler and the additional 2 rollers at the bottom, the smaller rollers, so roll 1 and roll 2, these are the contacts which I represent the contact between the track link and the smaller rollers so all of this is done i am adding some force to the track adjuster So we just simulated the model without any motion. So our model is complete. So all we have to do is add motion to the sprocket. And also we will do some few, few improvements. So this will complete our model. So I am adding the motion right now. It's basically a step function. I am beginning the motion from one second, allowing the system to stabilize for at least one second, the first one second. So that will make the track chain travel along the forward direction. I'm simulating it right now for five seconds. Okay, I just have to change the sign direction of the motion so that it travels in the correct direction. So this is the final simulation, I am running it right now for 5 seconds, uh, I am saving the results, ok I will also display the ground so that you have a reference, ok so the animation is up, you can see our track chain is moving forward and we do also see uh, some vibration oscillation of the track chain on the top. 
so there we are supposed to add rollers so I will just add that and show you the final results okay so on the screen you can see that I have added the third roller on the top to eliminate the oscillation and I'm also showing you the command prompt on the right hand side that is the Adams command prompt or which will actually display all the commands that I'm executing through script so you can see the contacts being created the various contacts I'm highlighting them right now so the one that are highlighted are the contact with the ruler 3 so this is a ruler on the top so along with all the other contacts these contacts have also been created now with this our simulation is completed and in total we have created 216 216 contacts that's because I have kept the number of rulers to a quite minimum usually there are more than 10 rulers in the machine so on the screen now you can see the final results so we have eliminated the oscillation of the traction on the top by adding the extra ruler and also you can see the graph the graph belongs to the track link which I'm highlighting on the screen the magenta color track link so this is the contact force of the track link with the ground so you can see how it is varying with time and the results are also quite good so we have come to the end of this video and the series as well so I will come back with more videos uh, maybe more automation with Python script and also more on multiple dynamics so for for more of these interesting videos do like my video do subscribe and also press the bell icon thank you all guys thanks for watching have a nice day